Hello. Um, so my name is Dario Salvis. Um, I'm going to talk about, this is a, an app we are developing for the six minute walk test. And it's a collaboration between the University of Oxford and the, the Trust, uh, particularly the Department of Engineering. Um, <coughs> so the six minute walk test, mm, I don't know if you, probably some of you already know what it is. Is a standard test used for uh, uh, pulmonary and cardio diseases. Uh, it's, it's just it's a very simple test. It consists of letting the patient walk for six minutes um, and then measuring the distance walked. So just by knowing this distance, the simple number is used for uh, all sorts of things. Uh, for example, for uh, deciding how much treatment uh, needs to go to the patient. Um, now, the, 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 the test is usually done, um, the problem with this test is it's usually done in a, in a busy corridor in a hospital uh, where all sorts of things can happen. You have people walking around, the patient has to come to the hospital. Uh, on that particular day, the patient may not feel very well, may be, uh, I don't know, tired or stressed. And also, it's a little bit of a... Um, uh, you also need to spend some resources in it because you need at least, usually you need two physiologists to monitor the test uh, just for that simple task. So it's not really ideal. And we thought that maybe <coughs> we could have an app to substitute the test. So we envision these, uh, this system uh, where basically uh, the patient will have an app and can do the test at home. Um, then it will collect all the results, send the results back to, to a server, and the clinicians could look at the results on, uh, on the screen. Um, we expect that with an app, the qualities would be better because the user, uh, because they would, will, will be less affected by all sorts of problems that affect the tests done in the hospital. Um, so this is how the kind of system looks like. It's uh, pretty simple. There's, uh, there's a, the, sm the, the smartphone with the app. There's a sensor. We, we are particularly now uh, tackling pulmonary hypertension patients. So we are interested into also uh, blood oxygen saturation. So there's a pulsoximeter which is connected uh, wirelessly to the, to the app. And all the measurements are gathered together and then sent to, over the internet to a server which is actually hosted by in, within the OUH Trust. And then there's a web interface where the doctor can see the results. Uh, this is how the app looks like. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, so you, there's a, there are some instructions at the beginning. Uh, then you have to wear the pulse oximeter. And then you have to walk for six minutes. Uh, you can also pause if you want to. And at the end, you get the results. And there's a very short questionnaire that says it's called the BOG. And it basically says, how hard was the exercise for you? And there's a scale. And that's it. Um, the app can work in two modes, indoor and outdoor. So in, in indoor mode, it mimics how it is done in hospital. So you have to choose a walkway. And you have to go walk back and forth. And uh, it, the app uses the internal compass in, in, the, in the smartphone to detect when you turn around and basically sums up uh, all uh, the times that you have walked uh, in, uh, over that walkway. In the outdoor scenario, uh, it uses the GPS to track your position, and then in the end, it computes the, the overall distance. <clears throat> so this is the kind of data we collect through the app. Well, the distance, of course, we collect also the position, uh, the compass in the indoor mode. We collect the number of steps, the pulse, and the oximetry. Uh, the bulk scale, which is the, the, the questionnaire at the end. And we also get the local weather. It was uh, one of the requests from the doctor because people wanted to know if patients were not doing the exercises because they weren't feeling well or because maybe the weather wasn't very good. So it is also useful to know. Uh, I'll, just a little bit about the accuracy of, the, of our measurements. Uh, they are quite good. So for instance, in the indoor scenario, we've done 46 tests, and we have an average absolute error of 5 meters, and the maximum error of 21, which is well below 
what is considered as a, a clinically significant uh, threshold. And in outdoor, we have similar uh, accuracies. It's a little bit higher because the GPS is not very accurate, but it's 11 meters absolute error and 27 maximum. Um, this is how the server looks like. So it's the web interface that the doctors uh, uh, can see. So there's uh, all the details about the, uh, this is one single test. And the doctor can see uh, the distance, uh, the Borg scale, uh, the weather, <laughs> the pulse oximetry uh, as a summary and also as a graph. And there's also the map that shows uh, where the patient has walked, which is useful to know. Um, because sometimes you can detect if, for example, the person has, like in this case, if after at the end of the test, the person should actually rest. But in this case, he didn't rest uh, because you can see that uh, he has walked further. So finally, the, uh, we are going to add other features to the app. There's, uh, there's one which is already, already working in reality, but we are going to test it later. Uh, we would like to also gather information from uh, fitness apps. Uh, so we are integrating, integrating our app with uh, what we can call aggregators. Um, which are particularly on Apple iPhones, it's HealthKit, and uh, on Android, it's called Google Fit, it's another app. So basically, the idea is to gather all the information about fitness, like number of steps, calories, and uh, activities like walking on uh, running or cycling over a certain period. This could complement uh, the information given by the test, the 16 walk test, which is a control test, a control uh, with information of the free living conditions. Um, we, are, we have tested this system uh, under the technical point of view. We are going to test it uh, in, a, in a pilot in the, in the JR. And yes, we are formalizing the, the protocol for uh, starting the, the clinical study. Um, and we want to understand if actually the, the app is usable and people are happy with it and if the <coughs> Six minute walk tests done with the app are compatible with the ones done in the hospital. So finally, we, we hope that thanks to the system, people will find the six minute walk test more comfortable. And we are particularly hopeful that thanks to more frequent data and also better data, it will be possible to optimize treatments even further. Um, yeah, that's, that's it.